This is the illusion reporting from Malibu, California, somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Wow. Things have been pretty chill out here in the uh in the dream. You know, I was just uh watching one of my fellow uh beams of light broadcast about uh his spaceship and uh what's going on with the hologram, you know, and I was relating so much to it, you know. A lot of people ask me, you know, why don't I lock my car? Why don't I lock my house? You know, I don't I don't believe in locks and stuff, right? I haven't wow, most of my life. You know, I just didn't grow up with a locked house and cars and stuff. You know, um I mean I, I park down at the beach all the time, you know. I park all over the place, dude. And I, I don't lock my car, you know, and it's it's full of surfboards, nice ones, good ones, and skateboards and pads and equipment and my video camera and my phones and wallets and you know, I just never lock it. You know, I leave the window down and the whole thing and it, it you know because all the stuff in my car, it doesn't, like, belong to me. Like, I've always known that. Like, it's not mine to lock, you know? Like, if somebody needs that stuff in the car, they're going to get to it no matter what. And a door lock's not going to stop them because uh, they'll just go through the window and... Fixing a window is a giant pain in the ass, man. You know what I mean? It's just easier to have your stuff stolen because it's going to cost about the same. Anyhow, but that's not really my point. My point is that is that I know all my possessions are temporary in their existence. You know, everything I own except where is it? Except for this piece of brick is relatively new in my life and it and my notebooks my all my notebooks I've I've had those notebooks for 20 years now some of them some of them only for a month or so but anyway this brick piece of brick from the Burnside skate park in Portland Oregon is one of my few cherished possessions Every great skater of the early 90s has grinded this rock right here. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful piece of skateboarding history right here. And it's mine because I created it. Because I remember the day I was skating. And I used you always had, you had to hit this thing no matter what. And it popped off of this wall. And boom, and I found it. And I knew it was mine because I'd always tripped on it on the wall. Like, eventually that thing's going to pop off the wall, and I want it. And, of course, I've got it because I wanted it. But that's how it all works, right? So all the stuff that I have I know is just temporary and... My, my counterpart out there in Florida was talking about how you have just enough stuff and if you want more than you, than you need, then you're moving into the greed territory and once you're in greed, you're a slave to owning possessions because you get exactly everything you need. And I've always, all my life, have always known I will have exactly what I need when I need it. I have never, like for example, right now I think I have $40 in my possession. Like $40, $40 right? I don't need more than $40 till I get my next installment of cash on Sunday because that's all I need. All right? Like, 
I have enough for the food, the gas, and everything I need to exist in the hologram for the next couple of days. You know, a couple of cups of coffee, another pack of smokes, whatever it is. So that frees me. Now I can just go about my business, do whatever I'm doing. Man, I don't got to worry about locking my cars because if you're going to come and take the surfboards out of my car, obviously you need them more than I do. But when you take something without asking for it or making the exchange in the hologram for it, man, you take on some pretty heavy karma. So my trip with that is, is like, go ahead, steal my surfboard, steal my skateboard, steal my car. You know why? The surfboard will attack you. The skateboard will break you. The car will kill you if you steal it, man. And I'm firmly convinced about it because, you know, I've put that kind of energy into stuff. Like, if you want to come up to me and be like, I'm the kind of guy where if you say, I like the shirt you're wearing, I will tear it off my back and give it to you. If you say that you need something in my car, I'll give it to you. And, 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 and the weird thing about it is every now and then, you know you'll find some weird thing somewhere that you don't really need, but you know it's something that you should hang on to, like a weird screw or some odd item, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And you'll have it and you'll be like, you know what? I don't know why I need this, but I need to hang on to it. You'll put it in your trunk. You'll put it in a desk drawer. You'll put it somewhere. And it may be years go by. Years go by. And you'll run into someone or someone will come over and enter into your life. And they'll be like, hey, man, you have this like particular kind of screw or this odd item that I can't find anywhere, but it's like the one I need to complete my assignment. And you're like, you know what? I just happen to have this odd item in my drawer over here. And I've had it for years. And for years, I look at it in the drawer and I won't throw it away. That's the kind of stuff that trips me out in the hologram. And my counterpart in Florida calls it the spaceship. And I'm totally hip with that. I'm not biting on his deal with the spaceship deal. I've always been hip to the spaceship. Because I'm a beam of light flying around in my spaceship too, dude. And I buy that, man. And it was the trip. Okay. Part of the thing that got me all pumped about this was he was talking about the space shuttle. The last mission of the space shuttle. I'm a huge space shuttle guy, man. Ever since the beginning. And I'm... I dig the space shuttle, man. I'm all into outer space. and Yeah, I like that stuff, right? So my trip about the aliens and the spaceships is this. So you live across the solar system, man. Another planet in a galaxy far, far away, right? So they talk about the spaceships and stuff. Yeah, UFOs. But really... If you look at what the space shuttle is for cruising across space, it's really a VW bus, man. It's like a hoopty VW bug from the 60s, man. So you're telling me like some super advanced species of beings from a planet far, like, light years away, hundreds and hundreds of light years away, it's going to drive a piece of shit VW bug across the galaxy to come visit Earth, man, which has basically been turned into like a landfill, right? I've never bought into it. My whole trip, and it was cool because it all got broken down on that video I I favorite and you guys should check out is I always figured they come in through your brain man if the aliens were going to come in they would come in right through your head man and enter into the hologram sure they may your brain may show up some big UFOs and all this kind of crazy stuff but whatever man it's just like it trips me out because we're sending our last 
hoopty VW bus in the space right now, right? All right, and for all the doubters out there who don't buy into the aliens and the things, like, there's two camps, man. There's the guys like me who know they didn't come here in spaceships, but they're here because the infinite possibilities of the mind and the universe and the hologram are infinite. Like, I've created the aliens in my dream, and they're hot, by the way. Dude. They're brunettes with perfect boobies. But that's another story. So, and then there's the other camp that doesn't believe in aliens at all, that thinks that, like, planet Earth, and this is all there is to it, this computer and taxes and war and death and, you know, kids and credit cards. But they don't think there's any potential for far out thinking, right? Well, I go, I had this unique experience. I was living out in Pennsylvania, right? And they were like, on this night, the space shuttle's going to be flying around the planet, orbiting the planet, and it's going to take two minutes to cross over the, over the sky. But due to the time of night and where the sun is, it's going to reflect off the bottom of the space shuttle as the sun's setting, and you're going to be able to see the space shuttle flying across the sky in outer space, right? So I'm sitting out there in the field of Pennsylvania like, all right, I'm going to get to see a spaceship, dude. And sure as shit, for two minutes I watched the, the uh, space shuttle fly across the sky in outer space. So I go, if our hoopty-ass planet group of people on this planet that can't even get their shit together for free energy can put a spaceship into outer space and orbit around the planet. Why can't anyone? But then that goes to my whole premise of why would you drive a VW Beetle across space when you could just come right through my mind and enter the hologram. So... I don't know, I just had the most marvelous day, and that's why I've been quiet lately, because I've been just chill, dude. Because sometimes when I don't need anything, I start to get a little, like, hesitant, man, you know? Like, whoa, dude, am I going to manifest some weird stuff out of the corner of my brain and cause a bunch of drama? Or is everything just perfect? And everything is just perfect, man. Like I said, got a couple surfboards. I got a skateboard. I surfed a couple times a day. I hung out with my punker buddies, man. And we shot the shit all day and drank coffee and smoked cigarettes and went surfing. And, dude, we saw these clowns right next door get fully Rousted by the cops, guns drawn because they were playing around with some stupid BB gun that looked like a real gun. And you guys will check out the footage when I upload it. It's pretty classic. But anyway, so you know, I had this perfect day, right, man? And I was like, how do I break it all down? And then I saw my boy Icy Self go right to the source of the whole thing, man. I can't even do it justice with what's going on in my pea brain, man. But the big change in the dream is happening, man. But it's peace and love, man. It's not war and hate and death and destruction, man. It's the most beautiful change is coming for our own minds, for the holograms, dude. Like, like it's about to, like, pop, man. Because it's already popped in my... In my dream, man, like, dude, far out stuff's going on, dude. I, I fear nothing anymore, man. I'm never without exactly what I need, man. I have no fear of tomorrow, man, because tomorrow doesn't exist. It's only right here, right now. And that's infinite, man. And that's a far out place to exist. It really is, man. So... Last mission, mission of the space shuttle. Done, man. That was a fun ride, man. I, I enjoyed that part of my hologram. The space shuttle was bitching, dude. But, uh, 
It's time for us to go multi-dimensional, man. Yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah. Don't lock your cars, man. There's nothing to steal. <laughs> it's not your car anyhow. Uh, anyway, it's the illusion just rambling about something, man. But yeah, I'm in a good mood today. So I hope you guys are too. Peace.